They don't show your cards, they don't show theirs. However, wherever God wants me to go, but um, you know, it's just all about where I go, not how, how early I go. And to have opportunity to be a, an early draft pick is a dream of mine since I was a little kid. And you know, I'm just giving it all I got, every opportunity that I get for every team. How do you think you threw it today, Dwayne? Solid. I missed two of them. It pisses me off still, but uh, I thought people as well. So two out of 50. Yeah, about oh, 50. Yeah. Good well, Paris would have been there and had a couple more deep shots, but they got hurt. So, yeah. So I'll get. Is he good? He can. He'd be all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dwayne, what have these last couple months been like since, you know, you last took the field in the road? Though? It's been surreal. Um, actually, coming back this week, uh, like, was kind of sad because, like, man, I miss my guys, miss the locker room, miss the team. And, uh, you know, uh, definitely making that choice to go to Leeds is a big, big step for me, but I don't regret it at all, and we will always support Ohio State. Hey, Dwayne, when you were throwing, did you hear how quiet it got in the room? In the room? No, nah, I mean, I, I don't listen to the noise. So, I mean, it's like playing the game. I don't really hear anybody in the shoe either. So, um, uh, just be able to go out there and throw today was a lot of fun last time with my guys, and um, it's, been, it's been a blast. Do you prove you're a top five pick? Yeah, I mean, it's up to, up to the team that wants to pick me, but I feel like I'm the best player in the draft. Dwayne, just the idea that this is their last time throwing. Yeah, right. Sorry. Yeah. Hi, Dwayne. Hey, uh, Dwayne. Just the uh, last time throwing meaningful passes in this building. Was yeah. that, like, uh, emotional at all? Uh, it probably hit me later today, but, um, you know, just uh, to be able to have this last official Ohio State workout, last official pro day. And, you know, I just took, a, took it one day at a time leading up to it, and it's been a lot of fun. And, you know, from the last workouts thrown with the guys until today, uh, it's been a, been a blast, and I appreciate the university. Hey, Dwayne, doing it, doing it here sort of at the home field advantage, saw the family this year. Yeah. Uh, is, there more, is there a comfort level just being on this field? I feel comfortable everywhere. Um, uh, it is like I have an advantage for playing Indy, uh, throwing Indy, been there before, and yeah. get to throw here. So uh, I've been here before a lot of times. So uh, now I feel like I get pretty comfortable where I'm throwing to. So uh, it's been just from the first round with Corey and Dale and the guys that I just came in, we were pretty on, pretty on spot. So. Do you think the receivers made some money today? Yeah, a lot of it. Uh, Terry did, did great, Johnny did great. And now those, those other two guys did awesome job as well. Mike did good too. So, Wait, those nice three guys really improved from the first day you showed up here. I'm talking about Johnny, Johnny. Terry, and so the uh, biggest thing with uh, all those guys is just um, just running every route like it's live, and um, you know, they have all the skill, fast catch and jump, all the, all that stuff is great. But every route has to be ran at the same speed. Every route has to be like you're know, running it open, and um, they got more confidence in me as the season went on, as camp went on, that I'll be able to put it everywhere on the field. And you know they had a great time this year. Over awesome. the month, over the last month and a half, two months, has your confidence just grown? How would you describe how you have sort of changed in regard of? thinking you're ready for the NFL if you follow my drill. Yeah, I've been ready for the NFL. I've been pre preparing for it for all my life. And um, I knew I was ready to, uh, to play in the NFL before the season even started. And um, then after declaring and being a professional athlete, life hits you fast. So um, definitely being able to, to learn on my toes. And, you know, it's been definitely a hard but fun experience. Dwayne, was it nice to have Bryson snapping you the ball, somebody you've been working with your whole life? Yeah, Bryson definitely, um, he knows what I need to do to get better. And he knows what we work on and how, to, how it needs to be done. And, to have him and Quincy, I remember Bryce since I was in middle school, you know, Quincy since I was sophomore in high school, so definitely a lot of comfortability with him. Hey, Dwayne, you know that you have a really, sorry, a really impressive role of this. Um, I know that you've worked out a little with Charlie Fry and getting ready for the for the NFL. Who else have you been working out with? Uh, for this uh, pro day and combine? For everything. For I mean, just as... I know more quarterback coaches than, like, anybody. So. <laughs> That's why uh, I'm curious. Uh, from a young age, from uh, Darren Slack and Steve Clarkson and George Whitfield and guys you've seen today. Um, the biggest thing is I just want to keep getting better and learning. And, um, every one of those guys taught me something different going into this, uh, this process. And uh, they're all really great coaches. Have you been able to look back and, you know, ha have any fun with this process? Or is this all just kind of serious and go, go, go? Uh, you have to have a happy medium between the two, uh, having fun, but then knowing that it's uh, still a business at the end of the day. And uh, being a professional athlete, is, there's no more classes, no more tutors, no more meetings. And it's up to you to wake up, work out, wake up and get stretched out, wake up and uh, get treatment. So uh, that's a lot of responsibility. Dwayne, having the accuracy, that, the accuracy that you showed in college, mm -hmm. at the NFL level, how much even more important is it to be able to put balls in small windows? Yeah, so what we say, what we need to say is that in college is windows, in the NFL is keyholes. So um, to be able to put the spot, put the ball in spot anywhere is definitely important. And then it really all comes down to timing, anticipation, and uh, accuracy. And uh, to be able to know what the guys have before he's there. And um, I like I have a great feel for that. Do you feel like, again, of all the things the quarterback has to do, do you feel like that is one of your 
main attributes is that you have that skill? Yeah, to be able to, to anticipate windows, to throw over top of uh, defenders, and um, be accurate all over the field is something I feel like I'm pretty strong at. How long have you been able to hit a guy on the run, dead stride? How long have you been able to do that? Since about eight years old. Yeah. So, did it uh, just come natural? natural. I mean, did you have to work at it? What did you, did you find it just came natural back then? It just came natural. I just feel like I have a great feel of uh, hitting moving targets and knowing the trajectory of the football, how much RPMs need to be added to it, and how fast the ball needs to be in the air, and uh, it's a whole bunch of stuff that like happens in point zero zero two seconds, and it just processes so fast. And uh, to be able to still be able to throw with defenders and people in my face, it just makes it that much more fun. Dwayne, how important were Terry McLaurin, Johnny Dixon, and Paris Campbell import like into developing that level of accuracy? I mean, I, I felt like I had that since I was a little kid, and the biggest thing is just getting adjusted to different speeds and going from high school to college. You, Throwing a, I'm throwing a lacrosse kids in high school, so now I'm throwing a four, two, four, three receiver, and then they're moving. So um, at the house, you know, fasten your feet up and be able to anticipate, especially versus press coverage that we see all the time in practice at Ohio State. And um, my freshman year, having Marshawn Lattimore and, and Gary on Conley and Malik Hooker and Denzel was a young guy at the point, but all those guys uh, just got me ready to play. And do you be able to throw it to them today? Like, how was that? How is was there an emotional aspect to it? Uh, really, just uh, as we prayed before we went out there, it was the last opportunity. And, um, you know, just make the most of it. And it was a great feeling to be able to, to go out there today and uh, spend a rock class for the last time. Yeah, when yeah. you were in New York, you were, getting, you were getting New York Giants questions even in December. Now it's yeah. kind of flared up again with right. are they interested? Are they? What can you say about the, the Giants and, and the number six pick and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, we'll see. Um, they definitely have shown interest. And it's not up to me who gets to pick me. So, um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to give every team everything I got and all the meetings and all the workouts that I have with them going up to the draft. And um, to be able to even be considered by New York as a, as a kid growing up as a fan is just a extreme blessing. You, you spent, you you spent a lot of time with them, with them last night, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. How, how did that go? Dwayne, it was what's, good. Dwayne, what's more important to you, being drafted as high as possible, or are you more worried about where you fit in as a quarterback? Yeah, I'm my past NFL teammates so I went here and said it's not how early you go, it's where you go. So um, I'm not really worried about being first or 32nd. Um, I just want to go to a great spot, great team. Dwayne, I was on a radio show in New York last week, and I asked me if you'd be able to handle the media and the crunch and all that kind of stuff. And just what's, what's your take on that, what you might be walking into if it's New York City? Well, I'm a homebody, so that helps. And then, yeah. um, I mean, New York media, New York media grew up around it, so it's nothing different to me. And, um, you know, definitely just being in the spotlight, something I'm used to, and um, I'll handle it pretty well. How much has Ohio State kind of helped you if you yeah. do end up going to New yeah. Before Baker got here, we possibly put back to the most famous person in Ohio. So um, watching JT uh, my first two years is like watching somebody who's a celebrity. Everywhere he went, he got stopped. So, um, I mean, it's not, it's not going to be that different. Thank you. Windows versus keyholes, is that 